Okay, so today we're gonna to start with multiplication. We're gonna start with one digit multiplication. If you are given a problem, something like this, first of all, what do you have to do? What do you gotta do here? Yeah, you gotta line it up. Guys, you can't do it sideways. I can't do it sideways, so we have to line it up. So it should be 46 times eight. You always put the bigger number on top. That'll help you out in the future. Now, to multiply this out, what would you multiply first? What do you think you're gonna multiply first? Six times eight. Right, six times eight. And what is six times eight? 40. Thank you, one of you are with me. All right, perfect, 48. So when I come down here, do I put 48 down here like this? No, it's just like adding, just like subtracting. You can only put one number down. What number do I put down underneath? Eight. The eight. Where do I put that four? Above the, four? Above the four. Now here's the key. What do you do now? Mm. What are you gonna do? Yes, ma'am. Four times four is 16, right? Four times four? No, what do I do then? Four times eight, right? So you're gonna do eight times six first and then eight times four, okay? Eight times four is? How much? 32, thank you. Is my answer 32? No, what do I have to do? Add this four. So 32 plus four is 36. Now, most of you are saying, okay, yeah, I remember this. Okay, I got this, but we're gonna do a quick refresher here. We're gonna practice them today because this is gonna be very important later. If I had a three digit number, what am I gonna multiply first? Seven and five. five times seven, then what? Five times eight, then what? Five times two. What if I had another number here like a three? Then what? Five times three. Five times three. So notice I'm taking my five and I'm doing five times seven, five times eight, five times two, five times three. I'm going in order, but I'm using the five each time. So that's exactly how we're going to multiply this. What is five times three? Seven? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. What number goes down? Five. Five. What number goes up? Three. Where does that three go? Above the eight. Above the eight. Now what do I do? I did five times seven, now I do five times eight, which is? 40. 40. What do I do with that? Add three, Add three right? 40 plus three is? 43. 43, what, is, what do I put down? Three. Three, what do I put up? Four. Four, then what? Five times two, which is? 10. 10. Plus four is? 14. 14, put the four down, one up, and now finally I would do Five times three is, plus one is 16. Do I put a six down and carry the one? No. No, it's my last number, so I can put both numbers down, 16, okay? This is what we're practicing today. Today is just a practice, quicker, get your, um, get your facts in your head uh, a little bit better. That is the number one thing fifth graders are gonna make the mistake. There's two things. One, they're gonna multiply wrong. They're gonna say, oh, five times seven is 40 or six times eight is 42, or three times eight is 27 or something. That's your mistake. I can't fix that. That's you knowing your multiplication fact. That's why we work so hard every day doing um, rocket math. The other, other number one mistake you're gonna make is because you're gonna forget to add these numbers up here. Careless mistakes, I can't fix that. Any questions on this? Perfect.